Of course, it's rare these days for this divided Congress to agree on absolutely anything. But there may be one issue. It has the likes of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Kevin McCarthy on the same side. They're both among members of Congress pushing for new restrictions on how lawmakers trade stocks. Some want to see an outright ban on owning or trading while they're in office. CNBC senior congressional correspondent Elon Moy is with us now. Elon, this is getting some traction. Yes, Shep, it's coming from progressives, conservatives, moderates, and they're all worried that even though this isn't illegal, it just kind of looks bad. Now, lawmakers do have to disclose whenever they, their spouse, or their dependents buy or sell an asset. According to Capital Trades, altogether, there's been $516 million of activity over the past year. There are all sorts of conflicts of interest that come up when members of Congress are trading individual stocks. And voters have a right to know that their members of Congress are acting in the public's best interest and not in the interest of their own wallets. Democratic Senator John Ossoff just released a bill tonight that would force lawmakers to put their assets into a blind trust or pay a fine of their entire salary. GOP Senator Josh Hawley is working on a version two. And in the House, there's already a bipartisan bill called the Trust in Congress Act. Democratic Representative Abigail Spanberger is one of the lead sponsors. It's about good governance. It's about accountability. But it's also about ensuring that the perception and the ability of our constituents to trust us is much easier because they don't have to wonder about our motivations. We've removed that room for doubt. Now, the bill would cover dependents and spouses, too. And that's important because many lawmakers argue that they don't own any stocks. It's really their significant other behind millions of dollars of trades. In fact, that was House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's defense when asked about some big money bets placed by her husband. And she's told reporters she doesn't believe in banning stocks. We have a free market economy. They should be able to participate in that. But, Chef, I can confirm that House GOP leader Kevin McCarthy is in favor of the idea. So just one more way that Congress could change if Republicans take the House in November. Elon, thanks so much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.